Okay, so I'm about to attempt number 10 on the homework. And this one seems tough because all I've dealt with so far have been two Venn diagrams. And this seems like a three circle Venn diagram. So they have a circle A, a circle B, and a circle C. So which of the following is a true statement about the Venn diagram shown in figure 1.8? Whoops, I forgot to label my points. They said I have an X, a Z, and a Y. Okay, so statement one is that X is an element or lives in, that's what they told me to think of that as, X lives in A intersect C. Okay, so let's see if it satisfies both of the conditions because this is intersection. I'm looking over here. X lives in A, so that part's okay. I guess I'll put a little check mark. X lives in A, but X doesn't live in C. And if this is an intersection, it has to be in both. It's only in one, so that's not true. So I will put a false. Okay, so part B looks horrendous. I'm gonna write it down, but I'll wait. I will wait to do it. Okay, so C says Y lives in B complement. Well, I know that that complement symbol means not in B, but Y does live in B. It doesn't live outside of B, so that's also false. That makes sense. Good, good. Okay, let's do D next. D says X lives in C complement, so X lives outside of C. X does live outside of C. Okay, true. That's good because I was getting too many falses. E says Y lives in A complement union C. Okay, so this is the one where I just have to satisfy one of the two things on either side of that symbol. So let's see what it satisfies. So does Y live outside of A? It does because this circle A, Y lives outside of it. So Y satisfies this condition on the left. Cool. Y doesn't live in C. So Y satisfies one of the conditions. It doesn't satisfy both. But that's okay because it's union, and union means you have to satisfy at least one of them. This is a true statement, that's true. Okay, so let's go to the big one. Okay, so this says Z lives in, oh gosh, A intersect B complement union C. Okay, so I have no other way to do this except to break it down. So the first thing I'm going to see is I'm going to break this up into the two different sides of the union side. I'm going to try to do this side first because for unions you only have to satisfy one of the sides to get in. So if Z's in this side, then I don't even have to worry about this thing. So I'll try that first. So does Z live in C? I look over here. It doesn't. So I'm not lucky. So I do need to check this thing on the other side to see if it's in there or not. So let's see what this is. A intersect B. This is gonna get shaded in. So A intersect B is anything that's in A and in B. But this is the complement of that. So it's anything on the outside of that green. Well, Z lives in here, so it can't live in the complement, okay? So Z also isn't in this region. Z doesn't satisfy either thing on either side. So this one is also false. Okay, so the question said, which of the following is a true statement? So there's two true statements. My answer would be D and E.